didn't do that. Oh, I think you did. I really didn't do that. I know, Elita, you're right. Your leg is doing that all on its own. And that's perfectly normal. It's what we call reflexes. Reflexes? Yep. It's something your body does without you even thinking about it. Wow, God made our bodies in amazing ways. Yes, he did. And he knows how to fix them when something's gone wrong. Would you like to hear a story of when Jesus healed a man who was sitting by a pool long, long ago? Wait, there's pools back then? Yes, there was. Yes, please! Today's Bible story is about a time when Jesus went to Jerusalem for a special festival, which is another word for a party. But this story isn't about the festival. It's about something amazing Jesus did. Please show me your that's amazing face. <laughs> that's right. In Jerusalem, there was a big pool of water called Bethesda. Can you say that name, Elise? Bethesda. Good job. Come on, everyone. Now you give it a try. What was the name of the pool? Bethesda. Now, there were lots of people who would sit by the pool. Many of these people were sick. Some couldn't see, some couldn't walk, and some couldn't move at all. All these people would sit by the pool and wait for the water to move. Why did they wait for the water to move? Well, sometimes an angel of the Lord came down to the pool and stirred up the water. Can you stir the water, friends? Yes, after the angel did this, the first person to jump into the pool was healed from any sickness he or she had. So they waited and waited for the angel to come and stir the waters. One of the people lying next to the pool was a man who had been sick for 38 years. Every time the angel of the Lord came and stirred the waters, the man would try to get into the pool so he would be healed. But someone else would get into the water first. Ah! But then, one amazing day, Jesus walked past the pool. Jesus saw the man sitting at the pool and he knew that he had been sick for a very long time. Jesus felt love for the man and wanted to heal him. So, Jesus asked the man who couldn't walk, Do you want to be well? The man answered, Sir, there is no one to help me get into the pool when the water starts moving. I try to be the first one into the pool, but when I try, someone else goes in before I can. Jesus listened to him, and then Jesus said, Stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. And immediately the man's legs were stronger. He picked up his mat and began to walk. Jesus healed him. Yay! Yay! Jesus, Jesus is amazing! It was a miracle, friends. Jesus helped the man who couldn't walk to be able to walk again. He healed the man. Jesus is amazing. Tell me, friends, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing! Yes, he is. Wow, Jesus is amazing! That's right, Elise. And you know what? Jesus told us that we can pray for people to get healed too. We can pray for people to get healed too? Yes, we can. All we have to do is pray in Jesus' name because Jesus is God. So His name, Jesus Christ, is even bigger than the names of every sickness you know. Hmm. Like chicken pox and leprosy? Yep. And bad coughs and stomach aches and blindness? Yes, yes, yes. Now we can do amazing things like Jesus by praying to God in Jesus' name. Boys and girls, listen to this. Sometimes people get fully healed on earth when we pray in Jesus' name. And sometimes people only get fully healed when they get to heaven, when we pray in Jesus' name. But we can still pray in Jesus' name like He told us to. Let's pray to God in Jesus' name right now. Father God, thank you for giving us Jesus. We know that Jesus can heal us, our friends, and our families, just like He healed the man in today's story. Thank you for giving us Jesus' name 
so we can pray for each other and get healed. Please make us wise like Jesus was when he was young and help us to be brave to pray for people like Jesus did. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now before you go, friends, let's do our Bible memory verse together because it reminds us that what Jesus did on the cross means our sins are forgiven, but also our sicknesses can be healed. You can repeat after me. By His stripes, by His stripes, we are healed. We are healed. Isaiah 53 verse 5. Isaiah 53 verse 5. Good job. Now let's worship God together. See you next time, Bangani. Bye. It's true.